according to current thinking, everyone with heart failure should be treated with beta blockers. Uh, but not everyone can be. Some people can't tolerate the drugs. They have adverse reactions to them. And if they can't tolerate them, then you can't treat them with them. Uh, the, um, <clears throat> the use of beta blockers, however, is standard of care for patients with heart failure, for all patients with heart failure. There are relative contraindications, that is, people with diabetes or people with lung disease or certain other peripheral vascular disease may not tolerate beta blockers well, but that doesn't mean that one would not try them in those patients. And if they were tolerable, then you would treat patients with them. The major, con the major issue, though, is that there are guidelines for the amount of a given beta blocker that should be given to a patient with heart failure. Those guidelines are out of date and not terribly useful. The, the problem isn't whether they should be given, it's whether they can be given. Because patients with heart failure have a difficult time tolerating these drugs at the doses that are listed in the guidelines. The reasons for that are several, but among others are the fact that the beta blocker trials were done a long time ago uh, when the doses were selected. And since then there have been important changes and additions to the armamentarium for treatment of patients with heart failure, uh, which makes it difficult to give beta blockers in the relatively high doses that were suggested in the initial trials. And even in the seminal trials, not everyone received the doses of beta blockers that were uh, that were recommended because they couldn't tolerate them.